after 3,870 subscribers and 909 videos, I can tell you, YouTube is hard work. And if you're not willing to put that hard work in, you might as well quit now. What's up guys, it's your boy Ty, and I appreciate you guys coming to check me out on my channel. My channel is all about making sure people are aware of the different avenues to get a piece of the pie. And if it's your first time here, go ahead and subscribe so you can come back and see me. Today is a little bit different than my typical stock market videos, and if you are fiending for one of those, I'm going to be coming out a little later this week when the first hit, and I will be showing a mid-year update to my stock portfolio my crypto portfolio and be announcing the contest winner to my $100 stock simulator challenge make sure you guys come back for that this video is to my youtubers it's for my youtubers all right as I said at the beginning of the video YouTube is hard work. If anybody tells you that YouTube is just this easy way to make money and you can blow up, oh man, it's hard work. I've been actively posting on YouTube for about a year and a half now, and I have been monetized. I've reached monetization. But we're going to look at that too, so I can show you guys how much I actually make off YouTube around about. And I'm here to let you know it's hard work. You got to put in a lot of time with YouTube. So YouTube is either going to take time, skills, or you're just going to have to have like awesome content. And to have that awesome content, most people have to be good or become good at editing taking videos and finding their you know their own way to do their videos me i've switched up a few times we're going to talk about that too but first if you are looking for a way to promote your channel and you actually have the funds and means to you know spend a little bit on your channel check out privategate privategate is a youtube partner google partner and they will promote your youtube channel via videos you submit a video to them you let them know uh one of the videos is already uploaded on your channel you pick one and you let them promote it for you and you will see these videos as ads on youtube you probably see these videos all the time all right and it's a way to get new subscribers interested in your content like i said if you have the means to it is already actively promoting 14,000 channels, 7 million real interested subscribers and real views. And again, how it works, you set up your YouTube channel, you choose your weekly budget, choose your payment method, and then you get promoted. It promotes it for you. And it's pretty effective. If you have the means, money-wise, it's pretty effective. And right there is how you people will see your video as an ad. And you can start as low as fifty dollars a week. And I can say it was is very popular. At one point, it the demand was so high that they upped that fifty dollars to one hundred dollars a week because the demand was so high. It's getting very popular. And why should people choose Provigate? of course you know uh if you compare it to google ads google ads is a little difficult to work i have worked google ads too but i found better results with Provigate. um Provigate does machine learning that cuts out low quality views a b tests for best results and free consultation by the experienced managers that Provigate has and our advantages you can will get reliability because it's a google partner efficiency because again as you put your ads up there it will learn what's best and how to use it uh how to promote your content and it's convenient it is convenient it's very easy compared to google ads google ads is a lot of technical things you need to learn and yeah there's a whole lot more with google ads 
and you can actually like i said promote so it's saying a weekly budget of 49 dollars will get you 2269 views and i can say it will definitely get you views it will definitely get you views so if you are interested in private gate like i said it's an easy way to promote your channel and definitely get views check the link in the comments and in the description of this video to check out private gate so now you got that out of the way that's one of the ways to make money off youtube too you just seen affiliate marketing affiliate marketing is one of the ways you can make money off youtube and i have found that it's kind of more effective than actually relying on youtube to pay you but anyway i have used propagate and my channel was doing very well when i was using propagate but again you're gonna have to deal with that you know do you have the means to pay for something like that i have went all types of routes to try to you know promote my channel i have tried facebook ads i have tried google ads and propagate is the most effective if i had like a hundred dollars or something i wanted to promote a certain video i would go to propagate route because they are the most effective in my experience everything else is gonna you're gonna pay for it and you're gonna feel like you're doing something but when you compare it to propagate propagate blows it out the water and you definitely get views and i haven't seen like any crazy drop in subscribers after you use it because propagate again is a google ads is a google partner so you know they're partnering with google ads all right so that's an easy safe way to go and you also can use fiverr i've used fiverr a few times um just to see what they do and they are if they have some effective you know uh services on fiverr too i got a link in the description and check that out too um like i said but me per se when you're talking about my growth on my channel my growth has been great and one of the places that you can check your growth on your channel and you about to see is social blade so social blade is a way that you can check youtube channels and their analytics so we're going to go to social blade analytics made easy and i'm going to type in my channel so now we're on my channel and you guys can see they rank me a C plus. I guess that's good. And you can actually see what you rank subscriber wise. Um, I'm 13,000 social blade rank. I'm in the 700,000 um, video views, 3 million oh, country rank. I'm in the US and I'm ranked 5,000. 39 i mean uh 5395 and my entertainment rank so it's good analytics but when you talk about how much we make do 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 <laughs> you might know about final fantasy anyway right here you say i estimated monthly three dollars earning to three to fifty two dollars I want to say that's pretty accurate. That is pretty accurate about uh, when it comes to how much I make on YouTube. Right there, it is pretty accurate. Right there. Um, that's what I. That's why I was saying YouTube is great. You know, I you talking about I put out like nine hundred something videos, and now I'm finally making in between three and fifty two. But I'm gonna show y'all my real numbers. Because uh, this, uh, it gives you the range. And like I said, I'm kind of in the middle of that. I'll show you guys in my analytics. Um, but Social Blade is great. It's a great place to check your analytics. And, you know, not just yours. You can check um, other channels that are similar to yours. Like I can see my future projections, what they think I would do. Um, right now it's saying in two months I will almost be at 4,000 subscribers. That ain't bad. By the end of the year, I'm still gonna be at uh 4,000, 4,273. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, you know. 
and this can this is just projection it kind of base it off on what you are currently doing kind of like stocks you know you base it off what it has done in the past what i have been doing in the past it keep track on of when how many subscribers you got and i can say uh i haven't been using any promotions lately because i want to see how much uh i can do by myself and at the end of the day at some point you kind of don't want to use as much promotions but i say i say this about promotions like private gate i started promoting you know at first because i wanted to get my channel out there but then when i found a product to promote that you know if people like the product and you know sign up for the product or whatever affiliate link you have that that is something worth promoting because at the end of the day it's a win-win you can promote it and get yourself some more clout on your channel and you can actually have a legit ad for a product or service that will make you money and i can say this hands down i make way more than this doing my affiliate links and promoting affiliate links you know uh subscriptions and things like that speaking of one right now if you're looking for the best stock picks or the hottest stock picks, check out the Motley Fool. The Motley Fool's stock advisor is one of the best stock advisors out, and you guys have seen it all around. Like I said, check them out if you want the best stock picks, and you know, use the link in the comments and the description. I am an affiliate, so I get a kickback, but it will be no expense to you. All right, and like I said, check that out for the hottest stock picks. Y'all, y'all see how I did that? Y'all see what I just did? I made way more money doing that and actually promoting something that I use myself that's very useful and I'm a fan of. You know, um, I love the articles by The Motley Fool, so I can 100%, you know, stand behind the reason why I'm marketing The Motley Fool. So that's what I, you know, that's why I market and I earn a decent amount for marketing it. You know, um, that is what you need to do if you really want to make money and you're concerned about making money on YouTube. With my experience, everybody's experience is different. My experience, you know, I got a lot of subscribers from my shorts. I don't think it's really from uh provigate and promoting because my shorts kill any promotion i did that's why i started going harder on my shorts on my channel so shorts can definitely give you subscribers but they're going to give you subscribers that like shorts subscribers that like shorts do not watch your videos for long they probably you know aren't a fan of ads and that is what makes you money on youtube when people watch ads and click on ads that is what makes you money not so much um, of how many views you get on uh, like a short or something like that, but the watch time it, and people actually sitting there watching and you know watching the ads and stuff. That is what makes you money. People that like shorts, like I said, they people that want to see something fast and you know short. Hence why they watching shorts. Um, I think my channel gained a lot from that and it's gonna keep gaining from that. Because I, I, I like doing my shorts. The shorts work for me and my channel. And that's another thing. When I say YouTube is hard, YouTube is hard. And you have to make sure you find what works for you. I started off my channel in front of the camera. And I started off like that because I, let's, I'm going to look up somebody on YouTube. And this is the first person I ever watched really on YouTube. Because I didn't watch YouTube until I got into stocks. And it was, was like a year and a half, two years ago. I really did not watch YouTube. Real talk, I did not watch YouTube until I saw this guy and shout out to him. And this is my boy Zeke. I said my boy because like I said, I've been watching him. I, I watched him first and he was kind of the reason that I wanted to start a YouTube channel. You know, maybe because he looked like me, you know, black guy with dreads, hey. <laughs> but anyway, the Dream, Green, the Dream Green Show stops Bitcoin real estate. 
and this is a show that is similar to mine especially when i started off but i kind of changed up what i do on my channel now i'm kind of i'm faceless i still have videos up when i show show my face but this is kind of in the same niche you know we're going to talk stocks real estate and crypto all right when you zoom in on his he got a b minus so it made me feel pretty decent i got c plus maybe in his chart kind of looks like mine you know kind of low you have spurts every now and then but uh you can see he makes between 43 dollars and 685 dollars a month that's pretty good and he isn't the biggest one the biggest youtuber but um i definitely and i have way more uploads than him so he got better quality videos than me of course uh, and it's because I do I got shorts. I haven't seen him do many shorts Because shorts don't really make you shorts to get you subscribers, but it's not really gonna make you that money Because like I said the subscribers tend to be short mind not short-minded, but they like, you know things short They don't want to sit around and watch a whole hour long video like this one might be hopefully it don't I ain't gonna try to go that long but this why this is why i like social blade too because you kind of can gauge yourself against others like your favorite youtuber and you can see what you could be making you know if you put the work in so i definitely think this show is great and then again i say make sure you guys check out zeke on the dream green show and i hope to have his numbers one day now we're back to my channel and as i said youtube is hard because you actually have to hone in and find that that specific type of video that actually grows your content all right so one reason that i have been me myself like i said everybody's journey is different but one thing about youtube that i have been finding out is that youtube rewards people that do the same thing and make videos like others that made videos successful videos so like you you're gonna see a lot of the same type of videos on youtube for example in my niche you're gonna see you're gonna see a lot of buy these buy now consider buying these stocks buy these penny stocks these stocks will soar down stock picks high jump you're gonna see a lot of people talking about the same thing three hot stocks stocks to buy stocks to watch buy the dip a lot of people we're gonna talk about the same thing and what i have found is that youtube rewards people that do that you know whatever i guess because people want to see that right sometimes that kind of can you know be repetitive that's why I don't mind doing it with my shorts because my shorts are easy. But when I spend a lot of time to make a video that's kind of repetitive, it kind of bothers me. But anyway, that's my journey. And I'm telling you, the ways to success is just keep making the same videos just like everybody else makes. YouTube will reward you. But me, I was trying so many different things. For example, on my channel, I even had a section where I was doing animated videos and they took me a long time to do. I even outsourced probably one just to see what a professional could do compared to what I did. And it wasn't really too much difference, but I was even doing like animated videos and they took me a long time to do. And either do and that was different. I haven't seen many people doing them different, some different out the box. My views, said i shouldn't have done them you know 35 views 16 views 19 views and these are videos that took me a long time to do a long time to do so needless to say at the end of the day we are content creators and we all want our stuff to be light i was hurt <laughs> it really made me mad like i put in all that hard work and you know uh yeah youtube was like man that's too different you know um we ain't watching that shit basically so that's what i'm saying with youtube youtube sometimes isn't the most friendly place and then that's why i started you know doing something a little different like my podcast videos 
like I said, it's just something different. But what I have noticed that's hot on my channel is like things like crypto. Crypto is big, but crypto is extremely risky. You know, you got to understand your your uh, audience. And I already know my audience loves crypto. But at the same time, crypto is risky. So let's see. Crypto, super risky. It got views 132. And then something like dividend, safe investing. You're not going to lose your money. 27 views so i understand what my what my audience wants to see my audience wants to see you know the flashy risky things a lot of times and me being the person i am i don't want to really show people too much risky because at the end of the day if i tell you hey i'm buying these cryptos i'm down you guys make sure you come back and see my video i'm gonna show you how much i'm down when i show you i'm down a large amount and you might you might lose money with me. You be like, hey man, you, you hey you told me that, that that crypto was hot. It was a big risk, but that's what people want to see. That's what I noticed. That's what people want to see. Um, but those are the type of things that you're gonna have to understand as a content creator, and you are gonna have to give the people what they want on your channel for your channel to be successful. And that is why I kind of. Me, myself, I dial back on pleasing YouTube. I make the content and uh, I do still do the things that are hot and people want what people want to see. But I am into pleasing myself now a little more. I'm going to do what's easy for me to do. I'm going to do I'm not going to sit there and, you know, spend a month, a month, two months on making content that takes me a long time to make just for it to be published and not really be favored you know i'm gonna you know do things that are a little quick and easy the simple things um i know a lot of people do come up here and give tips on make sure your content is a1 but i know a lot of people that have awesome content but they aren't monetized so making sure your content is a one and you have the best edits, that's, that's important, you know, for the growth of you. And it makes you feel better when you know you put your best content out. But I wouldn't say it's the most important thing. Um, popularity is popularity. Hitting the hot topics, that's more important. And I know people that have horrible quality that have a very successful channel. So be aware of that when you get into youtube too don't get too much don't don't get too trapped in spending me it's my tips like i said everybody's experience is different but i wouldn't spend get too much into spending too long on a certain project because it could be like my projects right here <laughs> uh, it's still great information if anybody ever you know runs across that and want information about you know trading and things like that it was a straight textbook you know i actually sat down and wrote reports and then typed it up put it in the animation and all that but uh, yeah yeah dud <laughs> it was duds maybe one day somebody will go back and watch my explainer videos but that is like i said what one reason youtube is hard youtube is about popularity what's popular right now what people want to see and a lot of times it's not what you actually want to promote and again i say this because i talk about investing i talk about wealth and of course i like to talk about safe investing and wealth but what you know gets me views is when i talk about the risky investments like i talked about a penny stock hcmc and it's one of it was man that video went I feel like it was my only, it was the closest video I had to going viral. These videos right here, HCMC stock, HCMC stock to the moon, penny stock, HCMC. HCMC did horrible. It did, but I invested into it and I got burnt. You know, uh, my man, that joint dropped like 95%. I got burnt bad, but that, video like the same week it went to like 1000 views and i didn't promote anything there's no promotion and i did even a follow-up video it went to seven 727 views and that was like me talking about a stock that i was kind of even nervous to talk about because it was a penny stock so 
I know in my niche, people like to hear the risky things. You know, they want to know about HCMC, uh, AMC, GameStop, which is crazy. And I mean, I can mean crazy by, you know, uh, it's risky. It's risky plays. But people would rather hear risk than the educational things I put out on my channel or the safe and sound stuff I put on my channel, which is uh, where I'm torn sometimes. So that's why I, you know, will do my shorts. And I will do content like this, but I have gotten to the point where I don't just rely on getting views because I want to have a certain integrity about what I'm doing. Like if I was just concerned about getting views, I would just tell people to buy penny stocks every day, but I wouldn't do that. So that is one thing that you will have to deal with when it comes to finding that content and being successful on YouTube. And like I said, I'm just giving you guys my journey and my experience. And you know, just letting you guys know what I'm doing with my channel. But I see that. So that's why I say YouTube is hard. Sometimes YouTube will make you be like, man, do I even really want to talk about that topic? I know it's a hot topic, but man, I don't even really want to talk about it. But you know, you're gonna have to weigh those options. What those options and HMC? We I need to talk about it because, like I said, I lost a lot of damn money with HMC. Anyway, now we're in my analytics, and my analytics look good. Um, I'm up on watch time hours, subscribers. It looks decent, and this is my estimated revenue. So we was talking about how much I make, right? So it said I make about fourteen dollars a month. Yep, just fourteen dollars a month this month. But you guys have can see down here that I average about $20, $25 a month. Nothing too much to brag about with my channel. But that is, again, because most of my content and a lot of my views come from shorts. You guys can see my shorts right here. Shorts play a lot, large part on where I get my views and subscribers. And that's why I like you doing YouTube shorts. Um, shorts don't make you feel bad after you post them, like, cause I don't, I don't have to do a whole lot of work on my shorts, but it's still good information in my shorts, legit information in my shorts. I just got to post them daily and that takes work too. That takes time. So we back to YouTube is hard. YouTube is hard because you have to find that time to do all the things you have to do with YouTube. So if you're one of the the type of the type of person that you will you know spend more time and quality spend more time on your videos because you want a quality video that's going to take time you're going to have to learn how to do that i know when i first started doing my videos i used to record a video and it used to take me like two hours to edit it because i wanted it to be perfect like i would have edited out when i just messed up now i just roll with the punches because i don't want to use up you know time because uh like i said at the end of the day you have to me you have countless videos to make you know uh you're not gonna everyone is not gonna be perfect that's where i'm at with it uh, but some people do say you know home and make the best quality content but i did that i did that i would spend like two hours to edit a video when i first started and still my video only get like 30 views at the end of the day, that kind of makes you feel a certain type of way. So YouTube can, you know, mess you up in the head. Like, dang, I spent all that time on that video and I only got that. Because at the end of the day, we are content creators and artists and we want our stuff to be seen and liked. You know, we lie to ourselves if we say it's not about that. But at the end of the day, if that keeps happening to you, you might end up quitting. But me, I just shuffled around and I did something different that was less time consuming. It still gave me, it honestly gave me a better result starting to do shorts. So you have to find what's right for you and test things out on your channel. Whatever, if you got something that's working, work. Cause I know a lot of people too, like the ladies in the budgeting community. Shout out to them, matter of fact. The ladies in the budgeting community, they are awesome. I watch these small YouTubers grow and they they be killing it because they support each other they have a good you know uh support system in that community even this one best like i said they kill me they kill me on my numbers i got more subscribers than them but they kill me on my numbers with the numbers 
And then somebody like that, Free France, budgeting. Like I said, those that community is like very strong and epic. I like the whole budgeting community. And that's another thing. My man Dimitri, man, my man Dimitri, and that's why I said about quality. My man Dimitri has excellent content. Excellent. Superb. He's a strong speaker. And he only has 640 subscribers. Make sure you guys go support my man, Mountain of Inspiration. Mountain of Inspiration. Sorry. Uh, and my man, Dimitri. Because, again, he has excellent content. But that's why I say I, I watch people. You know, they, uh, they are doing certain things with their channel. And I'm like, man, how come he's growing exponentially? And then my man, Debt Free Dad. He is awesome, too. Awesome YouTubers. He has started doing shorts. I have seen that. My man, Debt Free Dad, be killing it. View channel. I have way more than him, but you see his views. He gets a decent amount of views. He doesn't do as many shorts as I do, but he, he and actually when I social blade him, he, he killing me. Um, and that's what I'm saying. Certain channels do certain things. All depends on your audience. And like I said, this is how I'm looking. And another thing that I have to say about small YouTubers, um, when we have small YouTubers and small channels, a lot of a lot of times we have to support one another. And to support one another, we watch each other's videos. Man, I only really watch I only watch small YouTubers. So honestly, I watch the select few. When somebody comments on my video, I might go check them out. But I watch small YouTubers because I barely was a YouTuber before I became a YouTuber. You know what I mean? I didn't watch YouTube. I didn't watch YouTube at all because I don't have time. I barely have time to go and watch the episodes of a certain series on TV I want to watch, you know? So I barely have time to go and, you know, be on YouTube like that. So I do, you know, make sure I check on the small YouTubers that I do watch. I watch them more. If I comment on your channel and you see me, I don't just know I'm watching your channel way more than any of the big YouTubers because I don't even watch them. Besides Zeke, the Dream Green Show, I don't watch any of the other YouTubers. And it's not because I don't want to watch them. It ain't, I don't have time. I don't have time to watch them. Um, you have to decide, are you gonna watch YouTube or create content for YouTube as a YouTuber? I pick, choose, con I choose make content every time. Unless I'm somewhere I'm like at work or something like that, I can't make content or something prevents me from making content. I'm gonna pick make content every time. And that is, you know, something that you're gonna have to figure out when you become a, you know, YouTuber too. When to watch people. But anyway, it was just some tips I had about YouTube, small tips, what I went, went through with my channel and what I'm going through. And again, make sure you guys come back because I am not, I'm not quitting. I'm gonna keep it moving. But YouTube is hard. And if you're not willing to put that hard work in, Hey, you might as well stop while you're ahead. Hey, this was Ty. Peace out.